Welcome to the new Duval Maps My Neighborhood application. In this video, we will introduce the new layout and features provided in the map. The first visit to the new site will produce what we call a welcome splash page. Here we have the option to take a tour. This button will take you directly to this introductory tour video you are watching now. If you do not wish to see this splash page every time you go to the My Neighborhood app, click the Don't Show Me This Message Again link. If you chose not to display the message every time, but would like to see the splash page again, you can clear your internet's cache. To close the splash page and any other menus, click the X in the upper right hand corner. The splash page will disappear and the default view and layout is now visible. Let's start with the top menu bar. The home tab will refresh the entire map and anything you have searched for or selected. For a quick example, I will search for an address, which you can learn how to do in our address search tutorial YouTube video. So search. Once the application has zoomed to and returned a result, we can click Home to refresh the entire application, and it's a fresh page. Next to the Home tab, we have our layers. Individual layers are organized into general categories. You can find the layer you are looking for simply by clicking the Expand button next to each category. Note that some layers will not be selectable or visible until we have zoomed in to an appropriate extent. We will go more in depth with layers in our Layers Tutorial YouTube video, but it is worth mentioning the Layers Information link on the bottom of the Layers panel that will provide users with detailed descriptions of each layer. The Tools tab is where we can find useful tools that include measuring, printing or creating a PDF, and selecting by attributes and creating buffers. You can learn what each tool can accomplish and how to use them in our other tutorial videos. Duval Maps gives you the option to change the base map display that the layers will sit on. As you can see, we have a number to choose from. Simply click on the one you want and the map will automatically update. It is completely up to you to decide which one meets the needs of your work. However, it is important to mention that the topographic base map is the only base map updated and provided by the city of Jacksonville. The other base maps, while useful, purposeful, and most likely accurate, are updated by commercial sources and not guaranteed by Jacksonville GIS. If you just can't get enough of Jax GIS, want to connect with us, or have any questions, the About tab will have all you're looking for. Here you can find our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages helpful links for supplemental information or other tutorials, and email us with questions, comments, and feedback. We'd love to hear from you. For just a moment, let's skip over this search box to take a look at our Share button. Share will open up a menu in which you have the option to share the map through email, Facebook, or Twitter with your friends, family, or coworkers. The My Neighborhood application has two unique types of searches. The single search box in the upper right hand corner that we skipped over is a global search on commercial data. In other words, you can search for any location in the world. You can even search using latitude and longitude lines. This search will be discussed more in detail in the global and commercial search tutorial video. On the left side panel, we have a number of searches specific to the My Neighborhoods application. You can switch the type of search with the radio buttons under Search By. You can learn how each of these searches work in their respective search tutorial videos on our YouTube page. The search panel can also be hidden using the X in the upper right hand corner of the panel. With the search panel hidden, we are left with a larger map window to view more data. Navigating the map window is covered in the map navigation tutorial video. The button in the lower left of the map window will bring the left panel back into view. This concludes our introduction to the new Duval Maps My Neighborhood application. Take some time and get comfortable with the application and its capabilities. If you have any questions or need more help, don't forget to visit the help menu for reference and supplemental tutorial videos or contact us.